Hi, my kinjas. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome for your channel. Subscribe. Hey, I'm Shalana. And as you all can tell from the title today, we are going to do a carnival look because here in Trinidad, it's carnival season. And you know, we need to get festive, we need to get colorful. And that's what we're going to do today. So, if it is you would like to see how it is, I got this beautiful look. And I have seen it over social media. I want to see how it is. I did it. Just keep on watching. Hi y'all. So as y'all can see, my face has already been done. It is very much lived in. It's because I have been out for a while. But I do have this makeup look that I want to show you guys for the upcoming carnival season. So, if it is interested in that video, let's keep on watching. Alright guys, so, as you can see, I'm very much in love in my makeup. And I'm going to do a carnival look for you all. So, I'm actually just turning this look, because it's quite natural, into that carnival look, you know? So, what I'm going to do, I'm taking a... Uh, napkin or if it is you have like blotting paper or blotting powder and that's so the initial part right so we're learning more than one thing here the initial part isn't too hard likely because you don't want the print of the napkin to be set into your makeup okay. or if you have blotting paper you can use that i don't know if you can see Right, but you see that um, I have some marks there that's for my glasses right but I'm not going to do all this base I'm literally just you know gonna show you all how we gonna come from here into something totally different <laughs> right so that's it if it is you um, you probably want to do a colorful look but then when your face is already done and so forth <clears throat> right this is probably a way we can do that right so you see a lot of oils like guys have been lived in okay um i have done this makeup since after seven this morning it is currently after three minutes to four every day so I haven't touched up, I haven't, I did nothing to my face, so now that I have blotted that away, this is what I'm looking like, okay, okay. but because this is napkin, you want to be, you know, very careful, very, very careful, this, I don't know if you all been seeing it over social media but i'm just showing my audience how it is i do this so like right at the ends of your eyebrow right so now this is depending on how wide you want this to be so i'm just going right on the bridge of my nose like right there Ugh, it don't smell nice <laughs> right so we there remember that my skin isn't like clean per se so um first going in with some primer and so i'm taking some white um primer this is the pro primer ag high definition eyeshadow primer from la girls and i'm just gonna So I'm just taking a brush here and it's like to blend this. I 
have on lashes typically a person doing eyeshadow will not have on lashes right but you work around what you have okay. So you all see that. So now I'm just going to like add the rest of colors on this side and then I will come back and blend with you all. Alright guys, so on the next side I think it would be better for you all to see me blend here. So blending you go one color, right? And which part it's it's meeting here, you go over onto the other color. Okay. And the the key to this look is basically blending. So now I'm going back in with the purple. Alright, which one you meet? You know, you go over into the blue. And so it's like a fade of each other into each other. Right, and here at the blue, um, you see how I kind of like fading that color out. Okay, so you can see how here is a little more faded than the actual color itself right that is to now introduce the green and that is to introduce the green color so now I'm going and even though these are not blending brushes you can still do your blending okay? and then I'm adding that green I'm patting it in so I could get the pigment also it's a lot of work together right like i need to get these lines out of there from the primer so i will set those lines those lines will be set because of course i'm using powder shadows all right so you need to take those lines out and then you go in with your other color and you pack that color in to the cream on the skin so you can get pigment to show okay so you're not kind of watching going back and forth to see the placement to try to get it as uniform as possible so, yeah okay and again now we're going between the blue and the green so the blue we come now and we go over that green so we take a little bit of blue and we start blending this is like watercolors right it's like mixing watercolors like paint like when you're painting right and you go over the green with the blue and now you're taking the three now and you go over the blue with the green and it's a back and forth like that in order for you to get from see that right this side isn't blended so let me show you what it looks like when it's not blended and this is what it looks like when it's blended okay and again we're fading that green out right to introduce the other color well the other color is going to yellow now yellow will be a lighter color compared to the I green. I like big colors. You like it? <laughs> I'm glad that you like it. Sunny and the the sky. Yeah. So now we take any yellow and we get back. Although we have it there, but now we need to do the blending. And again, get a pattern 
to get pigment and then you blend so you go over into the green all right now if you have no lashes that would make it so much easier so i don't know y'all see that blend unlike this side so when it is you don't blend this is what it looks like this is that placing of colors but this is the blending of the colors so I did it just for y'all to see the difference what it's supposed to look like and now remember that green is more pigmented than yellow so you want to be very careful not to make it be overpowered brighter yellow than I do would be much better but this is the only yellow I have it would be so much better if your yellow is much brighter right but this is what I have so is what I'm gonna do All right so I'm taking this here and this okay. so I'm going to do this to the top All right so put one that there and I'm just taking some nail glue with like touching it yeah and then I'm taking some like little rhinestone type thing let's like pick on So let's find on that. I'll be back. Alright, guys. So this is what this side looks like. Right? I just put some black eyeliner in my eyes and I line my lips and I'm going in with this is um bounce on it. Um lip here. Mm, yeah, because you know the eyes are very so colorful. And, uh, let's blend up them. Also, what I want to do is to get some a little highlights. Then just, uh, just you know, just pop out the eyes a little bit. Nothing crazy. Yeah, and that is it. All right, guys. So this is the finished look. Actually, my hair was curled and all the curls fell. Don't worry about that. But yeah, this is what the finished look look like. Let me know down in the comments what you all think. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on channel as Stanley for both on both Instagram and on TikTok because I'm over there and I'll be posting. Hey guys, and let me know what you all think about this look. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Hey <laughs> right, guys, don't mind that. But yeah, yeah. bye.